and by Delta Airlines. Because learning about our world is important for kids everywhere. Delta Airlines. You'll love the way we fly. All these people want to know. Where in the world is... Carmen San Diego by Moby. And one of these gumshoes could find her. Her parents are from China and New Orleans, and she lived in Singapore for three and a half years. Meet Allison Yee. He's traveled to Canada and Colombia, and someday wants to visit Mexico. Meet Gabrielle Corridor. She likes swimming and basketball, enjoys painting with watercolors, and is learning to parlay francais. Meet Pamela Roy. And here's Acme senior agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee. How are you? I'm green. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Pamela, how are you? Good to see you, Gabriel. Nice to see you, Allison. Good to see you guys. Hey, they're just back from their world tour with Two Shade Turtle. Give it up for them. Ragabella. And as you know, the one who's the captain from San Diego today is going to get that trip to anywhere in North America, and that is not bad, folks. <laughs> so let's get started now. Chief, who are we after? This is Wonder Rat. Wonder at. Voted most likely to be a rodent by his high school class. He's a faux fur felon for Carmen San Diego. His last known whereabouts? The sun. <laughs> now, if you need a map to find this place, you're in trouble. Our sun is really a medium-sized star, a huge ball of blazing hot gases where temperatures range from about 10,000 degrees on the surface to over 25 million degrees at the center. But don't believe me? Well, go measure for yourself. As a star, the sun is nothing special. But without its light and warmth, life on Earth as we know it would cease to exist. And that cute little copper tone girl would be out of a job. Luckily, the sun's been around for more than four and a half billion years. But it was a real sundowner at high noon today. When Wonder Rat jacked up his custom-built Eclipsomatic, then hijacked old Saul from the skies. Now that rat's catching rays in his own private beach. Mm -hmm. But you've got to catch him, gumshoes. Light up our lives again by stopping... The Solar Eclipse. Oh, yeah. Got it? Wonder Rat and the Sun, that's what we're after. To help you do that, we're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we're going to give you 10 more Crime Bucks, and the two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. Okay? So, let's get started now with our very first clue, which comes to us today Greg, Greg, from... Yeah, Chief. This fact just in. That rat is on the Arabian Peninsula in a country which has about a quarter of the world's oil reserves. Wow, oil means big bucks. Oh, yeah, and big headaches, too. The country's whole economy is tied to the price of oil. The prices have been going down. So, if the nation keeps spending billions on weapons, and billions on free schools, and medicine, and billions on construction, and billions on parties and jets with fountains in them, well, things could bottom out. And on a scale of 1 to 10, that's bad. Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, guys, name the country where Wonder Rat took the sun. Is it Saudi Arabia, Somalia, or Iran? Remember the clues that we heard. Arabian Peninsula, about a quarter of the world's oil reserves. Come up with an answer as quick as you can, guys. Trying to find Wonder Rat and the sun. Once you're ready, hold it up there nice and high. Everybody is ready. Pamela, we start with you. What do you say, bud? I said Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Gabriel. I chose Saudi Arabia. Same thing. Allison. I said Saudi Arabia. Everybody said the same thing. I like to start a game like this because they're all right. Nice job, everybody. <laughs> Yeah. So, that means Pamela goes up to 60 crime bucks. Gabriel has 60. Allison, 60 as well. Way to go, guys. Now, for our next clue, a little something we put... Green leaf of grape. Green leaf of grape. Green leaf of grape. Green leaf of oak. Green leaf of grape. Green leaf of oak. Green leaf of grape. Green leaf of oak. Hey, guys. Green leaf of oak. Hey, Scotty. Oh, great. What's the word on the street, man? The word on the street is in here somewhere. Quiet! Yeah, here it is. Okay. Verde. Verde. That means green in a small country between Ukraine and Romania. Huh? It's great wine country, very fertile. Uh, very green, I would think. Oh, too. yeah, green. Very green, green is a Guys, green please, green we, don't, green don't, we don't need that. Now, the now, vines and trees have always been very important there, you see. They sing over 100 versions of their traditional ballad, and every one starts with either... Green leaf of oak. Green leaf of grape. Green yeah. leaf of grape. Yeah. Shh. Oh, boy. <laughs> The language is very interesting, too. They're, you know, they have some words from Turkish, more come from Slavic, and even more come from Latin. Yeah. 
That is, uh, it's very impressive. Yeah. I'm actually Verde with envy. Green leaf of oak. Green leaf of oak. Green leaf of oak. No, green leaf of grape. Grape. Oak. 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 Grape. Grape. Oak. 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 You know, the question that you really have to ask yourself after a bit like that is, when was it not funny, and when did the host know that it was not funny? Something like that. Anyway, guys, uh, name the country, if you would, please. Is it Armenia, Bulgaria, or Moldova? Remember the clues that we heard between Ukraine and Romania and wine-growing region? Come up with an answer as quick as you can. When was it not funny, and when did the host know that it was not funny? I'm going to work on that for next time. Everybody's ready. Pamela, what do you say, buddy? I said Moldova. Moldova. Gabriel. I chose Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Allison. I chose Moldova. Moldova, the answer we're looking for is Moldova. I am Verde with envy. Just as a reminder to everybody at home, all of our answers have been verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. Thank you, guys. For our next clue, we turn to Senator Ted Kennedy, field agent for Acme Senate Net. Gumshoes, head for a U.S. national park with the highest peak in North America. The name of the peak has been argued for decades. In the 1800s, explorers named it Mount McKinley, after the man who was later President of the United States. But long before that, Native Americans called the peak a name that means the high one. After a long debate that's still not over, the government is calling the mountain McKinley and giving the ancient Native American name to the park that surrounds it. Now go surround that repulsive rodent, Wonder Rat. Thanks a lot, Senator. Okay, guys, name the national park, if you would, please. Is it North Cascades, Jasper, or Denali? Remember the clues that we heard. U.S. National Park containing Mount McKinley, the highest peak in North America, and park is named after the mountain's ancient name. This may be a little tough. Go ahead, come up with an answer as quick as you can, guys. <laughs> Trying to find one rat in the sun. Allison's ready, so is everybody else. Pamela, we start with you. What do you say, buddy? I chose Denali. Denali. Gabriel. I also chose Denali. Same thing, Allison. I chose Denali. Denali. You guys are something else, and you're all right again. Thank you very much. So that means Pamela goes up to 80, Gabriel stays, goes up to 70, and Allison goes up to 80 Acme Crybucks. Now it is time, yes again, for the lightning round. Whoa! Hey! Hey, get out of here! <laughs> As you know, all these are about Wonder Rats, most recent known whereabouts, which is Alaska. For every, for every correct answer, we'll give you five Acme Crybucks. Just, you ready to go? Got your hands in the buzzers? Okay, read it. We're ready to go. Here we go. First question. Alaska's largest island shares its name with the huge bears that live there. Are they called Allison? Kodiak. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. <laughs> At least someone knows what's going on. Here's the second question. The Alaskan Highway travels from British Columbia to Fairbanks a distance of over 1,500 miles. Who built it? Was it Sea Lions, the Navy SEALs, or the U.S. Army? Uh, Gabriel. The Navy SEALs. Sorry, that's not the answer we're looking for. Uh, Pamela. U.S. Army. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. <laughs> Takes up to 85 crime bucks. That really hurt. Uh, here's the third question. When William Seward barred Alaska in 1867, people laughed at him. As it turned out, though, Seward's folly was one of the best deals the U.S. ever made. Who sold Alaska to Seward? Was it Canada, Russia, or P.T. Barnum? Gabriel. Russia. Uh, is right. Nice job. Five for you. That means at the end of the lightning round, Pamela has 85, Gabriel 75, Allison 85, Acme Crime Bucks. That's the way to play this thing, guys. Very close game. For our next clue now, we've, uh, a summary. Quick, we'll come into my office now! Okay, Chief, I'll be right there. Listen, guys, stay right here. This looks a little weird. Let me, let me check on it. Chief, where are you? I can't get my office. Come over here. What's going on? I just came back into the office, and I think there's somebody in here. Chief, there is somebody in here. You and me. Oh. Uh, Greg, do the contest. If you want to win, write down what got stolen and from where every time you watch the show. When you've collected four loots and locations, put them on a postcard with your name and address, and send it to Acme Crime Net, P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. He's safe. We'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send each of them a common T-shirt. Now, here are today's winners. Congratulations to the winners. Shh. Okay, come on. You've got to take some serious action here. Right, right, right. Let's get out of here. I'm right behind you. Oh, this is it. This is it. Oh, 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 oh. Tom. Oh. What are you doing?
happening here? I think it's quite clear. Chief Sean here was trying to scare us out of the office so that he could have the inheritance all to himself. Oh, really? Yeah. What inheritance? Well, uh, what? Put some clothes on. No, not here. Okay. Yeah, what? What? Oh, great. great. What? Oh, oh, what about that inheritance? <laughs> it's a joke. Joke? Good yeah. think not, Greg. Why? I have the will. Let's talk. Yeah. Moment, Jack. <laughs> Wonder at, gear up the sun, your Gouda, and go to one of the last places on Earth. You mean there are places on Earth we ain't robbed yet? No, I mean an island chain just east of the international dateline. It's one of the last places on Earth to start a new day. So when I get there, you won't have sent me yet. Something like that. It's a South Pacific paradise. Sun-filled beaches, Polynesian dances, no buildings taller than a coconut tree. Wow, sounds like a nice place to build my vacation house. Not there you won't. The land is inherited and can't be bought or sold. Now forget vacation and go. Okay, Gumshoes, name the islands where Wonderet has taken the sun. Is it Cook Islands, Hawaiian Islands, or Fiji? Remember the clues that we heard. Island chain just east of International Dateline, one of the last places to start a new day, and South Pacific. Come up with an answer as quick as you can, guys. Trying to find the one to in the sun. Pamela, what do you say? I said the Cook Islands. Cook Islands. Gabriel. I also chose the Cook Islands. Cook Islands. Allison. I chose Fiji. Fiji. The answer we're looking for is Cook Islands. Nice job, Pamela and Gabriel. Okay, nice job, Gumshoes, for our next clue. A little... Oh. The crook from New York, Brad's got the sun, and he's on the run, Greg, yeah, in a southwest state where Billy used to go. Gumshoes, name the state uh, where Wonder Rat took the sun, if you would, please. Is it New Mexico, Mississippi, or Nevada? Remember the clues that we heard. Southwest state, borders Texas, and Billy the Kid. Come up with an answer as quick as you can, guys. This one may be a little tricky, counting that last clue. Everybody's ready, Pamela? What do you say? I said New Mexico. New Mexico. Gabriel? I chose New Mexico. New Mexico. Allison? I said New Mexico. New Mexico. The answer we're looking for is New Mexico. Very good. So that takes Pamela up to 105, Gabriel 95, and Allison 95. Yeah, it's interesting. Billy the Kid became famous in the Southwest, but he was really born in New York City, as the song shows. Okay, guys, uh, for our next clue, uh, we, we heard, we were, we, uh, it's the chase. Ooh, the chase. All of these are worth five. Hack me crime bucks, hands on your buzzers, watch the monitor. Listen carefully. Here we go. Wonder Rat smuggled the sun into the capital of Northern Ireland. Name it. Uh, Gabriel. Liverpool. Sorry, it's Belfast. Then he dashed due north to the Hebrides Islands, named the political division. Gabriel? Scotland. Is right. He took the sun to, the, to see Buckingham Palace. What sea is he in? Pamela. London. Right. Next, he crossed the border into the political division west of England. Name it. Pamela. Wales. Yes. Wonder Red stashed the sun on the Isle of Man. What sea is he in now? Gabriel? Bering. Sorry, it's Irish Sea. That means at the end of the chase round, Pamela has 115, Gabriel 100, Allison 95. Acme Crime Ball. Whew. Okay, now it's time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Wonder Rat is headed. Take a look at the map and think about it. Everybody. 
Everybody's ready for our final clue. We tune in to that netherworld beyond FM and check in with the World Band Radio. Y ahora el estado del tiempo. Cielo soleado en la costa este de Nicaragua y la costa norte de Honduras. Las temperaturas llegarán a los 9000 grados. No se esperan cambios en el tiempo, a menos que ese personaje siniestro, disfrazado de rata, mueva el sol fuera del área. Los residentes consideran que este es el más descabellado evento desde que Paul Throw escribiera su famoso libro acerca de una familia americana que vino a vivir en nuestras selvas. Ok, Gumshoes, name the location, if you would, please. Is it Montego Bay, Mosquito Coast, or Patain? Remember the clues that we heard, eastern coast of Nicaragua and northern coast of Honduras. Best-selling book about American family living in its jungles. Once you have your answer, lay it down right there in front of you. Gabriel's ready. So is Pamela. So is Allison. Allison, we're going to start with you. You have 95 Acme Crime Bucks. Before you show us your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 30. 30 Crime Bucks. What did you say, Allison? I said the Mosquito Coast. Is right. Nice job, Allison. Yeah. Gabriel, you have 100 Acme Crime Bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 10 Crime Bucks. 10 Crime Bucks. What did you say, bud? Dead mosquito coast. Nice job, Gabriel. <laughs> Pamela has 115. How much did you risk, Pamela? I risked 30 crime bucks. 30 Acme crime bucks. If you're right, then you and Allison going on to the next round. What'd you say? I said mosquito coast. Nice job, Pamela. You and Allison going on to the next round. Gabriel, buddy, put it right there, pal. Nice game. Good job on the case. We got some great stuff for you. Chief. Hey, there are times when Wonder Rat has given me the slip, too. But there's nothing like the perfect gift to help me feel better. For example, the official Acme Travel Pack, complete with an atlas, the official Carmen T-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and our Acme voice identification badge and leave a message wallet. Ouch! Next time, press the button softly. All right, thanks, Chief. Guys, it's time for us to go to... Uh, Greg, yeah, Chief. leave a light on before you go. We want uh, Carmen and her gang to think we're home. Great idea. You guys ready? Grab the hat. Get the door. We're going to Nicaragua. Come with us. Hey, won't you? Here we go. Go, go, go. is the dumbest way we've ever traveled. I'm sorry, Chief. Who knew we'd have to wear togas? Okay, Gumshoes, here we are in Nicaragua. You know uh, where your positions are. I know where mine is. The Chief knows where hers is. So listen carefully. Here we go. Okay. There are 15 places here in Nicaragua where you might find Wonder Rat, The Warrant, or The Sun. Here's a look at a few of them. Move out in Managua, the capital city. Scope the National Palace, which has survived revolution and earthquakes. If that rat's in town, you'll see his pictures hung at the entrance. Ah, uh, there's nothing quite like a really fresh cup of coffee. Delicious. Sun-dried coffee beans are one of Nicaragua's biggest crops. Yes, I thought they were cherries, too. But Lemke assures me they're coffee. Next, search the mountains and valleys around the town of Hinotega. It would seem you couldn't ask for a more peaceful setting. But Hinotega was the scene of heavy fighting during the Sandinista Revolution. Finally, be sure to check in with Acme local agent Jorge. That penetrating gaze tells you just what he's thinking. Amigo, hope you pack plenty of sunblock. Because gumshoes, the sun never sets in Nicaragua no more, and I'm counting on you to change that. Head out, wrangle that rat, and return the sun to the solar system. We'll do it, Chief. Okay, guys, you know how it works. Loot, warrant, crook, Pamela. You had the most at the end of the last round. You go first. Um, Bragman's Bluff. Bragman's Bluff. Nothing there. We're on our way. Allison. National U University of Nicaragua. National University of Nicaragua. Nothing there. Pamela. Pearl Lagoon. Pearl Lagoon. Nope, sorry. Allison. Isabella Mountains. Isabella Mountains. <laughs> nope, nothing there. Pamela. Um, Cocoa River. Cocoa River. Nothing there. Allison. Tiscapa Hill. Uh, Tiscapa Hill. Nice pronunciation. Thank you very much. For, for both of us, right? Yes. Thank you. Pamela, go right ahead. Cathedral Leon. Uh, Cathedral Leon. <laughs> Turn these back around. Uh, who is it, Allison? Go ahead, buddy. Corn Islands. Uh, Corn Islands. The Warren. Nice job. You got the warrant. You get a free turn. Remember, though, loot warrant crook is the order. Go ahead. Mosquito Coast. Mosquito Coast. 
<laughs> we turn it back around. Pamela, go ahead. Um, Ruben Dario Theater. Named after the poet himself, Ruben Dario Theater. Nothing there. Allison. Bragman's Bluff. Bragman's Bluff. Nothing there. Pamela. Monkey Point. Monkey Point. Swipe son. Nice job. You get a free turn. You found the loop. Go ahead. National University of Nicaragua. National University of Nicaragua. Nothing there. We turn it back around. Allison, your turn. Monkey Point. Monkey Point. Grab gas globe. <laughs> Go ahead, Allison. Corn Island. Uh, Corn Island. The warrant. You had the loot and the warrant trying to find Wonder Rat. Allison, can you do it? Volcano Momotumbo. Is Wonder Rat at Volcano Momotumbo? Yeah, Wonder buddy. Rat. Good hand. <laughs> nice job. You know what to do with that thing. Go over there and pull it. Put him in jail. Oh, yeah. Nice job, Al. You can smile anytime you want. There it is. Very good. Stay right there. We'll talk to you just a little bit. First off, look at Pamela. Great job. Great detective work. Has some great stuff for you. Chief. Tough break. But Acme Rube never been. Only one gumshoe can capture Carmen San Diego. Fortunately, Rule 43D states that every gumshoe gets this terrific Acme Travels Pack. And I've just signed an authorization for you to receive this world band radio and guidebook to frequencies around the world. Now you can listen to news, sports, music, just about anything you want to hear from anywhere in the world. For your work on this case, I salute you. Thank you, Chief. Here is your skinless and boneless portfolio, Allison. You know what to do inside there's a piece of paper and a pen. What we want you to do is write down where you like to go and catch Carmen San Diego. The music has begun. She's begun writing, and we have started with the process. Where do you want to go? You knew what this answer was, didn't you? Don't be fooling around. She got that down. Very nice. Now we have to uh, wait for a phone call. There it is. Can you hold this just for a second? Wait a sec. Hold on a minute. Okay. Hello. Yes, he's right here. All right. Now I can sell my prison memoirs and make a zillion. Get Carmen in here so she can make me a publishing deal. She's hiding out in Africa. Okay, Allison, you and I are going to catch Carmen San Diego. Chief, what can you tell us? Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Morocco, Senegal, Burkina Faso, Ghana, Chad, Nile River, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Kenya, Zaire, Angola, Zimbabwe, South Africa. Greg, let's go to the map. <laughs> All right, buddy, here's what you have to do. You have to identify eight locations in 45 seconds. When you're right, you'll hear this sound. If you're wrong, though, you'll hear this sound. If you're wrong two times, leave the marker where it is. We will continue on to the next one. If you're right, though, eight times in 45 seconds, you get that trip. We will be happy and jumping around. Now, if you happen to see this sign right here, this stands for bodies of water, okay? So keep that in mind as we go about our journey, okay? Everybody's ready for this? Oh, nice, nice snag there, okay. You ready to do this thing? You guys ready to do this thing? Yeah. All right, let's come do it, Allison. Put a marker in your hands. Get 45 seconds up on the clock. Good luck to you. We're here to cheer you on. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Come with the tan tan Morocco. Morocco. Go, buddy. Go. Yeah, you got it. This is a Zaire. Zaire. Do it, buddy. Do it. Go, go, go. Yeah, let's go. Why don't you go? Burkina Faso, Burkina Faso. Gotta speed it up, somebody. Speed it up. Burkina Faso. Try it again. No, no. Why don't you go? Burkina. Yeah, yeah. Nile River, River, Nile River, Nile River. Yeah. He's about Chad, Chad, Chad. He's a man of Chad. Yeah. That's about like Ethiopia, Ethiopia. Let's go. Do it, buddy. Yeah. For a while, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe. Do it, buddy. Do it. Let's go. Come on. Nairobi, Kenya, Kenya. Go, buddy. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Kenya. Yeah. How you feel? Good. You're not even out of breath. Excellent job. Listen, you picked where you'd like to go if you caught Carmen San Diego. You did that. You and a parent are going to San Francisco. Let's get
Actually, you're so low key, and it's just great. I love this win. It's the most phenomenal win. You've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? Keep their noses clean, cause jail food sure ain't hot with these. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. Put your hands up. This program was presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. And as always, gumshoes, Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting.